All right, guys, so we just looked at a cross collar choke. We've looked at a high elbow guillotine. Let's look at another gi dependent choke, which is going to be the baseball bat choke. So the baseball bat choke is arguably one of the best chokes for the gi. And it's one of the few chokes that tends to put people to sleep very often. And why is that? It's because it's a choke that can be applied from an inferior position. So it's one of the few chokes that you can finish from bottom side control, bottom mount, and from if someone has your back. So we're going to look at this, but one of the best places to set up the baseball bat choke is going to be the half butterfly guard. Keep in mind, the baseball bat choke, although incredible when you first learn it because you start tapping people that are higher belt, when somebody's aware that you do it, it becomes increasingly difficult to actually finish the baseball bat choke because it's, it's a choke that can be kind of simple to stop if they know it's coming. But if they don't know it's coming, it's very difficult to stop. So the baseball bat choke is going to be predicated on the element of surprise. Another thing to think about with the baseball bat choke is in Brazil, they call it the suicide choke because if you don't finish it, they're going to pass your guard for the most part. So I'm going to show you two variations. One is much safer and the other is not as safe. So we're here in the half butterfly guard, okay? The baseball bat choke. The way that I like to get the baseball bat grips is I like to grab one hand over, thumb inside. That's the first grip I like to attain. The other hand is still keeping him away. I can still push him a little, okay? Now, when I'm ready to attack the baseball bat choke, I'm going to come with my palm up and I'm going to grab this grip. So my grip is going to be like a baseball bat, like so. The thing that you want to note is that you want to touch your pinky to your thumb. You don't want it to be loose. You want to be here, just like a baseball bat. Okay, so you're here and here. Now, once you get these grips, if the guy is good, he's, he's, he's already going to know what you're doing. So the reason that this baseball bat choke tends to work a little bit better than others is because we have the assistance of the butterfly hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the best butterfly sweep I can do in the position that I'm in. So oftentimes when we butterfly sweep, we go to our side. But since I'm in this position, it might be difficult. So as I extend my left leg, I'm going to try to sweep and retract my right. When I sweep Ty, it's likely that he's going to come back into me or I'm not going to sweep him that far. So I sweep, he comes back, and I'm going to turn, 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 turn away from Ty, onto my side. Okay, as I continue to turn, I get the finish. Now, this is why we see people get choked to sleep because Ty will start to seatbelt, will start to take my back, and they'll still be getting choked, and they don't realize it because they're so into the back take. They're so preoccupied trying to attack you that, guess what, they go to sleep. Let's go back. But, so we're here. Guys, you want to sneak the top grip in first. Why? Because he can't see it. This grip he can see. So I'm here, I'm framing. Maybe he pressures in. As he pressures in, I get this, this second grip. Okay? Now I'm going to sweep him as hard as I can. It might be not that hard. It might be really hard. I'm just going to go for it. I turn, and I turn away. And right here, I can finish by squeezing. Okay? I'm bringing my elbow up. I'm cutting him with my elbow as I continue to turn. The more I turn, the better. Okay, so let's look at a different angle. You alright? Yeah. <laughs> let's look at a different angle. So I'm here and here. I get this first grip. Maybe he pressures in. I get the second grip. Okay, I'm going to extend it as much as I can with that hook. Turn. Now guys, look. Squeeze, and you get the top here. Okay, so this is my choke. I'm pulling away, and I keep pulling him to me. Try to not have an extension of your arms. Try to keep your arms very tight, elbows in, or the baseball bat choke is not going to be as effective. Now, one more variation of the baseball bat choke that's safer but very difficult is to do this. If you're able to actually sweep him, because some people know you have the baseball bat, so they kind of fall to the sweep. Exactly. So look, we do one of those passes where we pummel over, come up here, and now we can start to attack the baseball bat choke from top. Here, circling and finishing here. I'm not going to break down the baseball bat choke from top, but just know that if you sweep with baseball bat choke grips, keep them. Because it's a more effective choke from top than it is from bottom. Because from the top position, you're not sacrificing so much. You go for the baseball bat, if you don't get it, that's okay. From the bottom position, the reason that the Brazilians call it the suicide choke is because if I don't get the choke, he's either going to rip my arm off in an arm bar, or he's going to pass my guard. So to show you what that looks like, what a lot of guys will do go on bottom is when they get the baseball back grips. So this one here and this one here. Okay, he gets the grips. I know he's going to get the grips. So when he goes to sweep me, step over, 
when they start to attack the near side arm bar. So that's something to be aware of. And keep your grips. If he has the grips and I pass, they just start to pummel the elbow and hold. And eventually he gives up. And guess who got the pass? Me. So if you go for the baseball bat choke, just know it's 50-50. You're either going to choke the guy out or you're going to get your arm taken or your guard pass from bottom. 